Hey, Saints fans. Thanks for joining us for this week's OCSN. Last week, baseball took on Norman and Midwest City, but sadly did not come out with the victories. Although they came home with some losses, Spencer Schwant, Will Martin, and Hudson Abel all hit some bombs, sending them way out of the park. Both boys and girls tennis teams placed really well at their recent tournament. The girls placed second, and the boys placed third. These tennis teams seem to be on a really good start for their season. I'm excited to see how the future goes for them. Since we are in the middle of March, you know what that means? Yep, it's time to fill out your brackets for college basketball March Madness. First, we're going to take it to me and Bennett with them asking people how their March Madness brackets went. Over at the end of March, in a sport we all love, we asked students how they participated in March Madness. Did you make a March Madness bracket? I did make a bracket. I've got six of my eight Elite Eight teams still in, all four of my Final Four teams. I picked UConn to win. I picked them to beat Houston in the championship. Yeah, so this year I actually made 25 different brackets. That was the most I could do. A few of them are doing actually pretty well. I have a few bad ones too, but... Uh, I'm up to like a 98% on one of them right now, so we're going to keep that rolling in the Sweet 16 and see what happens. Yeah, I also made 25 brackets, and then on another app I made another 25, so I, aver I think I made about 50, So, and my best one is about 80%, so that's pretty bad. So, Yeah, I made a March Madness bracket, and I had Kentucky going to the Final Four, so I actually cried a lot, like a lot. You know, I was really rooting for Oakland when they won the first round and kind of upset that they lost to NC State in the second round, but now I'm just going to cheer for Duke all the way. So this year, I think I had Kentucky going to the Elite Eight, and that really screwed me up. The accountant from Oakland really got me and messed up my bracket, but Houston's still in it, so that's why I had winning it all. So I did make a March Madness bracket. I ended up having all four sides, corners of my bracket. Did not end up going very well, especially because I had Kansas in the final Four and uh, going to the championship, but they lost to Gonzaga. So Brother, uh, my bracket is screwed. What's that? What's that, brother? You know, I made a March Madness bracket, and it took a pretty tough blow whenever I picked Auburn to win because they kind of blew it. So, yeah, mine's kind of shot. Made a March Madness bracket. I have Arizona winning it all, and right now I'm in first. Check it out. I did make a March Madness bracket, and it's looking pretty grim so far. I had Texas going deep in, and we all know how that went. And then the same thing with KU, and yeah, it's not looking good. <laughs> Even though some of their brackets are disappointing, looks like our students at OCS love March Madness. Reporting for OCSN, I'm Bennett Smith. Thanks, Bennett. Yeah, this year my bracket was pretty much toast. Yeah, there was a lot of upsets in this year's first round. Well, since all of our OCS winter sports have come to an end, that means cheer has no more games to cheer at anymore. I know, it's so sad to see all of our senior cheerleaders leave. Carly and Avery are going to tell us more on how the cheerleaders who have had such a fun time and the impact they left here at OCS. Although the basketball team ended their season with a great state championship win, they weren't the only sport that lost their seniors. There are six OCS seniors on the cheer team, and it's also Lauren Tremel's first year on the coaching staff. It's always sad to see them go, but also excited for their future, knowing they have um, a lot ahead of them. Senior Riley Collins has been cheering for about 14 years, competitively and with the school, and she's also a 2022 state cheer champion. It was a lot of fun cheering at the state basketball game. It was definitely a little bit sad just because it's the last time I'll ever cheer. We may be sad to lose our seniors, but we're so happy for them to end it on a state championship win. Reporting for OCSN, I'm Evie Oaks. Thanks, Evie. Every year, OCS has a musical put on by the drama department and the wonderful Mrs. Lord. They are performing Beauty and the Beast, and I'm super excited. I've never been a musical person, but these shows are amazing. I look forward to them every year. Something that we're going to continue on OCSN is Sports 101 with certain people from our sports media class. Yes, I'm excited for this uh, week since all of our spring sports are finally starting up. We have our first Track 101, and now to Logan and Brody. Track and field can be hard to understand, and sometimes it's hard to grasp the full concept of each event. That's why we're here to show you everything you need to know about the sport. One time around the track is 400 meters, which is one mile after four laps. Some of the running events include the 400, 800, 3200, and 1600. Some running events have variants that use hurdles. For the short distance events, most runners use starting blocks to get a better kickoff. There are also field events, and some of these include the long jump, high jump, shot put, and discus. The long jump is a competition to see who can jump the furthest with a running start. When running, if you step over the line, you will be disqualified from the event. You will also be disqualified if you start early. This is known as a false start. 
Runners can use equipment like running spikes, which are sharp spikes on the bottom of their shoes for better grip on the track. Now you know everything you need to know about the sport, so go out there and support your fellow saints. Reporting for OCSN, I'm Brody Sobel. Beauty and the Beast, a tale as old as time, coming to the Gabe Stewart Memorial Hall. It's true. Also true is each prop here is made by students at OCS, whether it be stagecraft or drama. Looking forward to the upcoming sports, April 1st we will have a baseball game at Perry and girls golf at Dover. Those games are quite far, so make sure to wish them luck if you will not be attending those games. And on April 2nd, boys golf will play at the Memorial Bulldogs Invitational Tournament and the soccer teams will play at Elk City. Our golf and soccer teams are looking pretty solid this year, and I hope I can sh show up and support our Saints athletes. Thanks for joining us for this week's OCSN. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any Saints live streams or OCSN reports. And until, until then, work hard, be humble, and give God the glory. Oh.